Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given exponential equation 2 plus square root of 3 whole power x plus 2 minus square root of 3 whole power x equals to 4. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's our very first step. Let's focus on this given exponential equation. And here I have copied it down and here's our next step. Let's uh, investigate these bases 2 plus square root of 3 and 2 minus square root of 3. And we can see that both of these bases they are conjugate to each other. And moreover I have copied down both of these bases right up here. And now let's go ahead and multiply them out. And when we multiply them, we can see that this is a product of sum and the difference. So therefore, we are going to apply this uh, well-known identity. So therefore, when we multiply these two factors, we are going to get uh, 2 square minus uh, square root of 3 whole square. And now we can see 2 square is 4 minus uh, square and square root undo each other we get simply 3. 4 minus 3 is going to give us simply 1. Therefore we conclude that this uh, when we multiply these two factors this turns out to be equal to 1. And now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2 plus square root of 3 on this side and 2 plus uh, square root of 3 on this side as well and we can see that this 2 plus square root of 3 and this they are gone so therefore we are ended up with 2 minus square root of 3 equals to 1 divided by 2 plus square root of 3 now let's revert our attention back to our this original equation so wherever we see this 2 minus square root of 3 I am going to replace it by 1 divided by 2 plus square root of 3. So therefore our this equation is going to become 2 plus square root of 3 whole power x plus let's re replace this one by this. So I'm going to write down 1 divided by 2 plus square root of 3 whole power x equals to 4 and now in this next step I have just simplified this one into this one 1 divided by 2 plus square root of 3 whole power x and now in this next step let's make our job easier by just substituting this whole thing by u and likewise this one by u as well so therefore let me go ahead and assume that u equals to 2 plus square root of 3 whole power x so therefore our this equation could be written as u plus 1 divided by u equals to 4 and now let's go ahead and remove this uh, fraction so we are going to multiply by u across uh, the board and we can see that u times u is going to give us u square plus this u and u they are gone we simply ended up with 1 equal to 4 times u let's move everything on the left hand side and once we moved everything we got u square minus 4 u plus 1 equal to 0 and now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by using the quadratic formula and here's the quadratic formula that we are going to use to solve for u and now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this quadratic formula where our a is 1 this coefficient b is negative 4 and c is a positive 1 so let's go ahead and replace these values so u equal to minus and b is negative 4 plus r minus the square root of negative 4 square 
minus 4 times a is negative 1 rather and c is 1 as well and everything is divided by 2 times 1 and here's our next step negative times negative 4 is going to give us positive 4 negative 4 square is going to give us 16 and we simplified this negative 4 times 1 times 1 is going to give us 4 divided by 2 times 1 is 2 and now we can see 16 minus 4 is going to give us 12 and now let's focus on this square root of 12 and here I have copied it down square root of 12 and let's go ahead and simplify it and here I have broke it down and we can see that uh, square root of 4 is simply 2 so therefore we got uh, 2 times square root of 3 so therefore I am going to replace this square root of 12 by this uh, 2 times square root of 3 and here I replace this square root of 12 by 2 times square root of 3 and here I put them in uh, individual fractions and finally we got u equals to 4 divided by 2 is going to give us 2 plus r minus this 2 and 2 are gone so we simply ended up with square root of 3 and now let's go ahead and break it down into this positive and negative signs so therefore we can write this one as u equals to 2 plus square root of 3 or u equals to 2 minus square root of 3 and now let's go ahead and investigate both cases case 1 when u equals to 2 plus square root of 3 and case 2 when u equals to 2 minus square root of 3 but then we know that u equals to 2 plus square root of 3 whole power x so therefore we can write this one as 2 plus square root of 3 whole power x equals to on the right hand side 2 plus square root of 3 and now on the right hand side this 2 plus square root of 3 could be written as 2 plus square root of 3 whole power 1 and now we can see that the bases are same on both sides so therefore we can equate their exponents as well so therefore we can conclude that x equals to positive 1 for this case 1 and now let's focus on this case 2 but then we know that u equals to 2 plus square root of 3 whole power x so therefore I can write this one as a 2 plus square root of 3 whole power x equals to 2 minus square root of 3 and now let's recall from the previous step 2 minus square root of 3 equals to 1 plus square root of 3 and here at the denominator I can write this one power 1 now let's go ahead and move this denominator to the top so therefore this could be written as a 2 plus square root of 3 whole power negative 1 so therefore I am going to replace this 2 minus square root of 3 by this one 2 plus square root of 3 whole power negative 1 so therefore the right hand side we can write as 2 plus square root of 3 whole power negative 1 and the left hand side is going to stay same and now we can see that we have the same bases on both sides so therefore we can equate our exponents so therefore we conclude that our x value in this case is going to be negative 1 and finally we can check our answer by just plugging in these x equal to 1 and x equal to negative 1 value in our this original equation and we can see that both of these values satisfy x equal to 1 and x equal to negative 1 both of them are our valid solutions so thus our solutions turn out to be a 1 and negative 1 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye